morning are saying that this is a workhorse, this C-130, but there are few clues on why this one went down in that field in Mississippi. Officials also warning residents to stay away from the crash site because there's so much jet fuel on board. This morning, officials are on the scene of the deadly military plane crash in Mississippi, trying to determine how the C-130 transport aircraft crashed Monday afternoon 85 miles north of Jackson, killing all 16 people on board. Witnesses say the plane slammed into a soybean field, bursting into flames, thick plumes of smoke visible for miles. Emergency personnel responded to 911 calls. Our independent FD unit, there's a plane crash on County Road 286 near the county line. Overnight, authorities asking residents to stay clear of the area. Yeah, fuel everywhere, so we don't want anybody without responders in the area. The plane, a C-130, is a four-engine turboprop tactical tanker. The latest version of a Vietnam-era aircraft, long considered a workhorse in the military, used to refuel an aircraft in midair or equipment on the ground. Overnight, Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant posted a statement on Facebook. Please join Deborah and me in praying for those hurting after this tragedy. Our men and women in uniform risk themselves every day to secure our freedom. Now, complicating recovery efforts, guys, that plane may have been carrying live ammunition, and we've just heard its flight of origination where it started from, Cherry Point, North Carolina. Matt, Savannah? Mm. All right, Hans Nichols, thank you.